Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. The translation reads like this. You know what, I cheated on my wife with a very beautiful young sister. The problem is that he is pregnant. Before you have impregnated a woman, you would feel that she is the one for you. Even if you know that you can never be together, you'll be telling her all of those sweet words. But the moment that she reports back to you and tells you that she is pregnant, you really do not know what else to do. Now I am desperate, so much desperate that I've been thinking about a lot of ways to end her life and be a year in Cape Town. And you know, you know, if I happen to go to Kailija, anything is possible. This woman, she can return back to Zemine Coffin. At least I will be able to keep my wife in the darkness because if she knows, I will lose almost everything. Me and my wife, when we met, I was just a broke nobody. So my wife believed in me because I met her when she was going to college and I was going to college as well. I was studying electrical engineering and she was studying something else, but it was just a matter of her going to school because her parents were more than able to take care of her. She comes like from a real wealthy family, even the house where we are staying here. It is embarrassing to say that it belongs to her own mother. Her dad has a house, her mother has a house here in Cape Town. So we are staying at one of the properties. So I guess you you just know how much I will lose if she gets to find out that I have since impregnated a young sister. It all started with her sister. I did not want her to be around because she is way more than beautiful than my own wife. Like, it's like they are not even related with the way that she is beautiful. My wife, the reason as to why I married her, it was because of the money. Money talks. Even if a woman is ugly, you just marry her for the purpose of money. My name, you can call me Tinashe, not Israel name. And now I find myself in a situation that is so twisted that I barely recognize the man that I have become. I have made mistakes, terrible mistakes, and I blame her. I blame my wife for not being as beautiful as her own little sister. She was supposed to be attractive, like she was supposed to be a curvy woman like her little sister. But as for her, like we call them door frames in our country. Women who do not have big hips, we call them your door frames. But as for her little sister, even when she is walking, all the men will be looking at her. This is what made me to want her, to want her more. And now I am not proud of what I have done. And me writing this to you, it is because I am desperate. I need advice. I know that you might get someone who can assist me. It all started almost a year ago. That was when she came here to South Africa with the intentions of studying. But she is a lazy bunny. All that she does is that she lies on the couch all day long eating her ice cream. And when the way that she, eat, she eats this makes her bums to be even more bigger and bigger which is something that is very seductive with the way that she looks already she has a great body why eat and gain weight increasing the weight of her behind and she is someone who really hates wearing long dresses like her big sister always these mini skirts always these shorts this bikini whatever and she'll be lying on the couch now the problem which happened was that it wake I was then told that I was supposed to be working at home because there were some renovations that were happening at work. Fine, grabbed my gear and I started working at home. So I had set up my little work station in a place between the kitchen and the living room. So the setup of our house is like when you are in the kitchen, you see everything that goes on in the living room. Then there is a little space that is in between. That is where I set everything up. So during the day, she will be there watching her movies on Netflix, whatever, chatting with her so many boyfriends and taking pictures. There was a day when my wife had gone out. When my wife had gone out, that was when we were left all alone. So it was a little bit cold on that day she was wearing this morning gown. How was I supposed to know that underneath the morning gown there was literally nothing? That was when she started taking her pictures and I then looked and when I looked I saw that 
she was kneeling on the couch with her great behind facing me and i saw heaven and earth i saw paradise which was between her legs and immediately i knew that this girl was supposed to be mine and she wanted me to i rushed to where she was i was like a crazy man a possessed man with everything that i had seen just his skin I really do not even know how to describe it. All that I can say is Manaka Naka in translation. This woman is really beautiful. But she, she then accepted my move and we started doing what we did. And after we were done, she started crying and she said, what have you done? I did not think that I'll end up breaking my sister's heart in such a way. So when I started to come forward here, you know what happened? We did it again. So this became an everyday thing. My wife would go out to the gym wherever that me and her we would sleep. So what has happened is that she fell pregnant and when she told me that she has fallen pregnant now i have been thinking of making her disappear because she told me that she is going to tell her sister now i am living in fear that if her sister gets to find out that this is what has been happening that will be the end of me because as for her family they have lifted me from the ashes of poverty even for the company at the place where i am working it is a company that belongs to one of your father's a father's friend so it will only take a phone call from my father-in-law to my boss for me to get fired i can't get fired you know when you are married to a woman who smells money it will be the most painful thing that can ever happen to you and i know that there is no way that i can ever marry this little girl with so many boyfriends that she has she is not decent not decent at all i do not want to lie to you so i just wanted her i wanted the piece of meat since she is not decent so me and her we did whatever that we did until she told me that she is pregnant so the story right now is that since she has told me that she wants to tell my wife and she has been threatening me and she does not want to have an abortion i am left with no choice hence i want your listeners to advise me if this is a wise decision knowing that if she knows then i tend to lose everything last week i did go to this other nearby township i did not tell him everything but i explained that someone is threatening to ruin my life he told me that he can remove this problem this person who is ruining my life and he will be able to sort her out she can be gone gone like forever the sangoma said that i need to think this over because this is a matter of life and death forever i'll know that i have someone that died all because of me and now i want someone to assist me what should i do anyone who will listen to my story i beg you Please tell me, how do I fix this without destroying everything? Should I come clean that this is what I have done? Should I try to reason with her so that she can keep the baby and to keep quiet to pretend that there is someone who has impregnated her so that we can keep this secret? Or should I go back to the Sangoma to take the only path that will guarantee me that this secret as long as she dead she is dead it will stay hidden from everyone from my wife please assist me i am a man who is about to lose everything dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me uh, by one of our brother that is the translation of the message that was sent to me strange things indeed they do happen in this world